Hello everyone and welcome to this training. This is the full feature training for the Microsoft Customer Agreement. What we are going to cover today in this training is everything and anything around the Microsoft Customer Agreement. We've created a little agenda. If we felt it was time to make an update. So this 2024 update will focus a lot more on what is currently possible with the MCA and what will be on the horizon for the Microsoft Customer Agreement. With that, what we are going to cover today is first an introduction. So a brief overview of what the Microsoft Customer Agreement is, what the promise of the MCA is, why is Microsoft making this change? Second, we're going to dive into the Microsoft Customer Agreement versus the Enterprise Agreement, because that's what most people's interest is about how does it translate to the from an enterprise agreement to go to the microsoft customer agreement we have some schematic overviews showing what the ea currently is versus what the mca currently is and then we dive a little bit further into the overview of the mca and we give a final comparison between all the differences next going to product availability what can you buy in the mca and how does it differ to what is already out there. We want to wrap up with some uh, more information about pricing and invoicing and have a small conclusion at the end uh, where we bring it all together. So if you follow this entire training, you will know from top to bottom what the MCA is, what it's about, how if you're familiar with the enterprise agreement, it translates to the Microsoft customer agreement and what exactly your options and possibilities are with the Microsoft customer agreement.